How does the GSE, ACEC fan controller with LCD display works? Before installing the controller, expose the wall mount brackets. Use the screws supplied with the controller, when mounting the controller to your wall. Be sure to mount the controller in a safe place, keeping it well ventilated. For safety reasons, it is strongly recommended to mount on non-flammable surface, such as brick, concrete, and never wood, plastic, cardboard, or similar. Do not place your controller in small unventilated rooms or cabinets. Improper installation will result in overheating of the controller. For AC fans, plug your intake fan into the left socket, and exhaust fan into the right socket. For EC fans, connect your intake fan into the bottom left port, exhaust fan into the bottom right port. Place the sensor at the area you wish to measure. Make sure that the sensor is not directly exposed to a heat source or stream of light, in order to obtain the most precise measurement of the ambient air. Power your controller and check that the power LED light is lit up. The ACEC fan controller is a speed regulator for one exhaust fan, or for two fans, exhaust and intake. You have the possibility to connect AC, OR, and EC fans to the controller which are working parallel together. For AC fans use the power sockets left and right side, with maximum 5 ampere. 1150 watt per socket, 2300 watt in total. Or, and, connect EC fans to the RJ45 socket. After a short startup procedure the controller displays measured values. Fan speed bar, and day night stage. The controller is operated with an encoder, a so called rotary push potentiometer. Turn right to go to the temperature day setting. To change the temperature value push once on the encoder. The setting starts flashing. Now you can change the value turning left or right on the encoder. Set the desired temperature for daytime, and then push the encoder again to save this setting and return to the selection of settings. Turn right to go to the daytime hysteresis setting for temperature. The hysteresis refers to the value between the lowest and the highest value of the regulation. For example, we set the hysteresis to 2 degrees Celsius. And the day temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. The fan will start at 25 degrees room temperature, and reach maximum speed at 27. In these 2 degrees Celsius, the fan speed will change linearly according to the measured temperature. Turn right to go to the humidity day setting. The humidity value is set the same way as the temperature value. Turn right to go to the daytime hysteresis setting for humidity. Same as temperature, the humidity hysteresis refers to the value between the lowest and the highest value of the regulation. For example, 10% humidity hysteresis, at 60% relative humidity. The fan will start at 60%, and reach maximum speed at 70%. In these 10% humidity, the fan speed will change linearly according to the measured relative humidity. Turn right to go to the minimum speed day setting. The minimum speed setting limits the exhaust fan. It should never be undercut during the regulation. The current minimum speed is displayed on the bottom side of the speed bar. Each filled segment represents 10% fan speed. If the value is set to 0%, the exhaust fan will stop working when the measured temperature or humidity are below their set values. The minimum speed can be set to up to 100% speed. For example, we set the value to 10%. Turn right to go to the maximum speed day setting. The maximum speed setting also limits the exhaust fan, and should never be undercut during the regulation. The current maximum speed is displayed on the top side of the speed bar. Each missing segment represents 10% fan speed. For example, we set the maximum speed to 100%. These first six settings apply during daytime. 
The LED indicates the state of the fans with a constant shining during daytime. During nighttime, the LED is blinking and the controller uses the next six settings, which are set the same way. After you have gone through all of them, turn right again to set the negative pressure setting. The negative pressure decreases the speed of the intake fan. For example, we set the value to minus 20%. When the exhaust fan operates at full load 100%, the intake fan stays at 80%. If the exhaust fan runs at 50%, then the intake fan runs at 40%. Minus 20% of its power. The exhaust fan removes more air from the room than the intake fan blows inside, and you obtain a guaranteed negative pressure during the regulation. Turn right to go to the light sensor switch setting. You can see the alternate blinking of the sun and moon segments. Push the encoder to change the switch level value between day and night time. If the value is set to 30% light, then the controller will switch settings when the light is below 30%. Turn right to go to the light sensor delay setting. This countdown is used to avoid an immediate switching between day and night mode, when the light sensor has reached the switching level. For example, we set the value to 300 seconds. When the countdown ends, assuming it doesn't get interrupted by getting light at the light sensor, the controller will switch from day to night time. In reverse, the controller will switch from night to day the same way. Not every EC fan has the same minimum speed. This can be easily corrected with the AC EC fan controller. Unplug the power cable from the electrical outlet. Wait a few seconds. Push and hold the encoder button, and then connect the power cable again. Keep holding the button for more than 3 seconds. Now you can set the speed under P1 which should correspond to 1% of the minimum speed. Push the encoder, turn left or right to change the value, and push the encoder to select. Repeat this process and keep increasing the value until the fan is able to turn by itself. Turn right for P2. Here you can set the backlight, on, off, or automatic. Push the encoder to select, turn left or right to change the value, and push again to save. In the P3 you can set the EC output signal as, 0 to 10 volt, or pulse wide modulation. Read the technical data sheet of the fan. The P4 setting lets you choose, when the temperature and humidity are below their set values, should the intake fan stop completely, or should it run on set minimum speed. In the P5 you can change the temperature scale to Fahrenheit. In the P6 you can reset the controller to factory settings. Turn right to go to end, and push the encoder to confirm. The EC fan controller initializes with the new settings. The AC EC fan controller has a built in temperature surveillance sensor to protect from overheating. In case of overheating, the controlling range of the fans becomes fixed. While the controller is cooling down, the exhaust fan runs at maximum speed, and the intake fan stops working. After the internal temperature of the controller falls below 50 degrees Celsius, the controlling range returns to variable fan speed. The power LED indicates this with a fast blinking. To reset this blinking LED you have to unpower the controller. In case such overheating happens once, you have to move the controller to a place where you obtain better cooling.